Hello, and welcome to another Digital.ai release and deploy demo. In today's video, we delve into Dora Analytics. You're already familiar with Dora, but within our Erewhon release, we're providing even more clarity and actionable insights. Before we go through the Dora Analytics dashboards, I'd like to take a minute to draw your attention to the data sets being consumed by the dashboards. By clicking on data sets, you'll see the different data sets that we have pulled together. These data sets are a combination of multiple third-party data sources like ServiceNow and our own digital.ai data sets that have been transformed with a complex data set with calculations and pre-built logic. Here are some of the examples of data sets which are readily available in ERA-1. Here we are viewing all the data sets specific to deploy, but if you only have release, then you can actually select the data set associated to release. With releases Dora metrics, we've provided the ability to seamlessly integrate data from your favorite tools like Deploy, Argo CD, Ansible, ServiceNow, and Git. Now onto the dashboards. In this view, we are defaulted to the release application. You can see all the dashboards associated to release. Now let's get to Dora Analytics by clicking on the Open Dashboard button in the Dora Analytics widget. Here, you'll see an overview of all the Dora Analytics at a glance. We've captured the DevOps performance from a throughput perspective, which is the development of the content from the team, whatever they are performing. They're capturing the throughput or the velocity of the software delivery through two metrics, deployment, frequency, and lead time while the serviceability or the stability of the content, which is dependent upon the services aspect, where we are capturing the two metrics of mean time to recover and change failure rate. The deployment frequency and lead time for change rates are coming from the development orchestration tools like release and other DevOps related sources. And the mean time to recover and change failure rates are coming from ServiceNow service management. Now, another aspect for this is in the, this dashboard. You'll be able to analyze the data by organization as a common dimension or team or application. You can select a particular organization team, an app or a combination, or select one specific item at a time. Here, we'll just keep the analysis at the top level of the organization. At the top, you'll be able to see the KPIs of the four metrics we're tracking for the last 30 days compared to the prior 30 days. These metrics are your overall performance rating against industry standards that we'll talk about in a moment. These metrics are plotted on a trend by day, week, or month, so you can figure out what is happening and capture how the organization is performing within a period of time across the four metrics. As I mentioned, the four metrics being compared against industry standards are coming from the DOOR community and are published annually. Our system picks up those standards every year, compare the outcome of your organization's metrics on that standard format, and highlight where the organization is underperforming, on par, or excelling. Now here's where our Dora analytics are different from other vendors. First, we've given the ability for configurability, where you can find more numbers of metrics, for example, the lead time. There are three different ways of new times to be calculated. For change, we're taking the lead time or the elapsed time between started to when the deployment happened. Or if you're looking into an overall development life cycle, like some customers may only want to see the actual work that's been done on the deployment, so they'd use cycle time, where you're looking into the, an epic start time or the agile ticket from when the deployment starts. While other customers are only looking from the code when it's deployed. So they're looking at the metrics of the code commit to the final deployment into production. So customers are using this dashboard in different ways. And while Dora provides all three options, they don't give all three options at the same time. We have. The second differentiator is deployment frequency. We track both the total number of deployments over periods, daily, weekly, or monthly, and in the coming weeks, also the number of days with deployments. Customers prefer to see deployment occurrences rather than just volume. For example, an uneven deployment schedule where 80% of deployments happen in the last two days of a 30-day period is less desirable. Ideally, deployments should be evenly spread out to ensure continuous improvement. Being part of an elite community means higher average deployment volumes. For instance, 80 deployments over 30 days average 2.5 per day. If 70 of those occur in the last week, it skews the data, showing a dynamic deployment activity. More evenly distributed deployments indicate a true move towards elite status. 
The third differentiator is that you have the ability to drill down to take a deep dive into the analysis of each of the metrics. For example, when we click on the details button on the deployment frequency, you can find out what all the deployments have accounted for. You can select by organization, team, and or application, and the data is presented as, as a performance quadrant where you can easily find outliers. To which quadrant is good or not so good, you can click on the deployment frequency information icon and get the definitions. On the right hand side, you can see the trends and the deployment details. Within the details, you can click on the deployment source URL links that will take you to that particular task. Similarly, you can do the same thing with lead time, mean time to repair, and change failure rate. With Dora Metrics, you can make informed decisions to optimize your DevOps processes, benchmark your releases against industry standards, identify bottlenecks, and drive continuous improvement to maximize efficiency while also minimizing risk. That's all we have for today. Thank you, everyone.